For my wife, Deb, and me, our little doggie is our child. Coco is our grand poobah of happiness, so we never want to see him distressed. You know, if you're a dog lover too, or even if you just live by other families with their own poobahs of happiness, this message is especially for you. The 4th of July is a great time to enjoy the festivities with friends and family, but it can be hard on pets. The loud noises scare them, and they don't know what's going on, so they hide under furniture or stay outside all day long. It's important to take care of your furry friends this holiday season. So, here are some tips for making sure that your dog has a happy 4th of July. Walk them early in the morning before things get rowdy. This will help them out with their energy and keep them perhaps from barking at the fireworks later in the evening. Try giving them a treat that you give only during fireworks celebrations. Something like peanut butter or cheese. This will help calm their nerves and when the fireworks go off, well, they'll associate them with something positive. If your dog's still nervous during fireworks celebrations, try playing music on low and talking to them calmly. This can help calm their nerves just as well. Now, for some dogs that are extra sensitive to noise, there's a product called Thunder Shirts. These vests help relax an anxious canine because it's similar to uh, swaddling clothes when babies fall asleep. Finally, if you're having a party outside, Be sure to supervise your dog or bring them inside. This is especially important if you have a larger breed dog that might leave the yard or run around in unfamiliar areas while it's afraid. So remember, the 4th of July is meant to celebrate the freedom we enjoy and show love for our country. But keep your pets safe by keeping them comfortable with these tips that I've just given you. You know, in this month's newsletter, I'm especially excited about our spotlight on our featured artist organization, Opera Las Vegas. In July, they're offering four performances of the opera Scalia Ginsburg from the Thomas and Mack Moot Court Room at UNLV's Boyd School of Law. The world premiere of that opera was conducted by none other than former Cleveland Orchestra music director, Lauren Mazel. It's a 70-minute show, and it's a lighthearted story about the close friendship of one of the Supreme Court's most iconic conservative justices, Antonin Scalia, and one of its most iconic liberal justices, Ruth Bader Ginsburg. And the two of them, they shared a common bond beyond the bench, and it was their mutual love of opera. It's hard to imagine any form of entertainment that hits on more of my interests all at once. So, If you're in Las Vegas on July 8th, 9th, 10th, or 11th, I hope you'll be able to attend a performance. I know I'm looking forward to it. Have a very happy 4th of July and enjoy your summer, everyone. Each month, we'll have videos on how to use the law to take care of your business and your family. This month's videos are here on the right. If these subjects interest you, consider subscribing. And of course, if you like this video, hit the thumbs up button for us.